all the trim work is done now around the door got that done got it done around the window decided to go with a octagon window instead of a rectangle rectangular window um so uh i did this deer rock a while back before i got all the trim work finished but uh i got about a two inch projection on the trim um past the deer rock so i figured once i get the stone done that i'm going to do here you know it'll match up pretty good somewhere right in here with this trim but um anyway i'm gonna get started on the stone um i'm gonna use this uh maypie large tile and stone mortar it's supposed to have a really strong bond um and i'm gonna use a half inch notch trial um, to spread this stuff out so i get a good bond on it anyway uh we'll give an update once i get a little bit more done okay so prepping for the stone right here i got about a 50 inch wide gap and right here i'm laying out 50 inch wide and just separating putting a little bit of a joint between them that's what the look i want to go for um once you do that just kind of keep a line you know eyeballing it so keep it kind of straight um try to mix a big one in with a little one so you don't got like joints running you know vertical horizontal you know try to keep it random but uh anyway that's how uh kind of need to break it up so I was able to get the uh, stone done around the door. These are the, the stones that I made out of concrete and bought the coloring myself and mixed it up and made them. Um, probably took about seven or eight batches to do this. And that was probably with like eight to ten forms. Um, some of the bigger stone were separate forms by themselves. Try to mix them in a little bit with the small ones and uh, the colors too. You know, you don't want to have too many dark colors beside each other you want to mix in the lighter colors um, I'm getting ready to do a little grouting here I'm gonna use a grout bag and uh, using a bonding agent in the type S mortar it's a mason it's a masonry mortar um, it ought to stick really good and I'm also wetting the joints um, with spray bottle just like that you know that's all you got to do this will also help with it sticking so you don't want your mortar to break loose later after you spend all the time doing all this work so anyway i will uh tune in later when i get a little bit of this time all right. 